Hi, everybody. Welcome to Mark's Backyard Birds. But the big question right now is why all of a sudden did all the birds disappear from my feeders? Uh, and, and, and that's especially right here. I know in our area, and it might be where you are too, because we just went through a really, really harsh stretch of, stretch of weather. We've had snow cover. We've had brutally cold temperatures. And, and if you watch the videos from the last two to three weeks, you know how bad it is. And wherever you live, I'm sure it's just as bad. I know uh, all across the, the, the country, way down into the south, they've had really uh, cold conditions and the birds really swamped feeders. Well, what typically happens is as soon as we get milder conditions, uh, and, and this, boy, believe me, 38 today is much, much milder than negative 16 air temperatures, uh, the birds take advantage of that because Patches of, of ground, uh, grass, weeds, uh, lawns, uh, shrubs, everything that were completely covered with snow or 90%, 99% covered with snow just two, two weeks ago are now opening up. And those, those seeds that are on the ground the, underneath there are maybe still on some of the, the limbs and things, they're taking advantage of it. And I've, I've always said, you know, you wouldn't want to eat French fries every day, all day. Uh, you want to diversify your, your palate, your diet, and your nutritional needs. So, uh, and that's what birds do. You know, they're, they're, they're forced into feeders heavily during these really strenuous stretches. But as soon as conditions get milder, then bang, they, you know, they head out to the buffet line, as I call it. Uh, and and don't, worry, don't worry, they'll be back. I mean, it's not like they're gone. It doesn't, that they've migrated out. It's just they're taking advantage of the weather conditions being less stressful. So they're not forced into uh, having to, to eat a, a, as often. And, it, it, and they can be picky with what they're eating and they can feed in safer areas like in the woods where lots of tree covers and things like that. So your feeders are going to have these slow periods during the winter months, especially whenever you've got the, the ebb and flow of the, the cold conditions and the snow cover and melting and thawing, things like that. So they're out there and they'll be back, you know, when the, the weather's changed and you're always going to have your regular visitors every day. I, you know, I tell Melanie that, uh, that, you know, the birds are kind of typically on a circuit uh, and they have several places they check for food all around your neighborhood. They have some grassy areas and woodland areas, you know, other people's bird feeders and, and areas where they access food and water uh, during, the, you know, they're feeding together like this in, in the winter months. And then they, you're on that. They're not at, just at your feeders all day, every day. They, they're, they're working away around an area. And that's what they're doing. It's just that they can take more time in the natural areas and less time at your bird feeders when the conditions get mild like this. So uh, slow and, 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 and busy periods during the winter are natural and it's going to happen. But in as busy as it's, it's been, people get scared whenever their birds, you know, are really, really slow all of a sudden, but it, it they, they need it. It's good for them. They'll be back. Don't worry. Uh, if you like the program, please give us a like, give us a share. Thank you all. We just recently topped a million views on our videos. This is a huge, huge accomplishment for us. And we really, really appreciate it. So give us a like, give us a share, send in ideas for future programs. And until then, come on, let's talk birds.